Hey y'all, Nate's Interactive Auto here. I want to show you guys how to check your alternator out. First, you want to start off by checking your battery. You want to take your voltmeter, put it on the voltage setting. Then you want to take your red lead. I use clamps on my leads rather than probes. That way I can do a more hands-free operation. So you want to take your red, place it on the red battery post and you want to take your negative lead put it on the negative post and you want to see as high as a 12.6 charge you may need to turn your headlights on for 10 seconds to make sure you don't have a bad surface charge showing you that you have a voltage that is incorrect so you might want to leave those on 10 to 20 seconds and then check your voltage you see 12.47 this car hasn't been driven in a while so the next step start your alternator and check and make sure that your alternator in fact is not correct so let's go ahead and start the vehicle up okay guys so once you've got your vehicle started black lead on the negative terminal you want to place your red lead on the positive side or the red side of the terminal you'll see a, a minus or negative symbol for the negative side and you'll see a plus or positive symbol for the red positive side so as you can see 14.1 that's a good voltage the vehicle's running now if it's over uh, 15 volts this can be bad regulator might not be working properly so so far if you have a good voltage up to this point the next thing you want to do is turn on a lot of accessories in your vehicle so let's go ahead and do that right now okay so as you can see we've turned on a lot of accessories and what's happened is it's the voltage has went up because it is actually uh, the voltage regulator stepping in to help out and give it the proper charge that it needs. So if your voltage is up to this point, good, then you need to check other methods, check out some of my other videos. If not, you didn't get something good up to this point, a good voltage reading, then the next step you're gonna take, do a voltage drop test and you wanna make sure you have a good connection so, like I said, make sure your ground connection is good on your battery side. And go ahead and hook your black lead up to your negative connection. The next one you want to do is your red lead. You want to go ahead and hook it up. So, as I was saying, you want to hook this up to your alternator bracket. And once you've hooked this up to your alternator bracket, I want you guys to leave a comment below any tips or tricks that you have for cleaning your battery terminals. I know people say use soda. Um, I use a little small dab of oil myself and it seems to last forever. So let us know in the comments below any tips or tricks you have for that. Battery corrosion problems too. And let's go ahead and hook this side up. We want to hook it up to the alternator bracket. Make sure you guys don't put your hand in front of any moving parts. Now. If you have a reading that's 0 .1, 0 .1 or higher, then you have a problem. So the connection's not good. Okay, um, let's go ahead and show you guys that connection with that alternator. As you can see, I've hooked it up right here on the boat. But let's just go ahead and make sure you don't want to get any moving parts so we'll hook up to that bolt right there and that's what you want to see little to no change at all on the negative lead and we'll move over to the positive in just a second let's just say you're good it's showing good right there so you know that it's something else well it still could be the negative so a uh, couple little things to run through really fast and you guys will have all these tests gone through as I said, if you had a bad reading, then that's going to change things up here. And I would have moved to the next step, which is what the alternator bracket is connected to, which is the block. 
once I've hooked up to the block, I'll check my meter. If I'm still getting a, a good reading up to that point, then I know to move a step farther. Okay, so next I move to a solid point near the frame or firewall. And by this point, I should have determined what the problem is with the negative connection if there was a bad voltage drop. So if not, if I had no higher than uh, less than a point one, then I know I'm good. So I'll move on to the positive side. Okay guys, for the positive side, you wanna hook the positive up first on the battery terminal. Take your negative lead and you wanna hook it up to the, the alternator's charging uh, terminal. We'll go ahead and hook this up to the alternator's charging terminal. Hook the red lead up to the positive side. And as you can see here, Okay guys, as you can see here, you don't want to have no more than uh, 0.3, so you need to be a little lower than 0.3. I'm going to show you guys where I hooked up at on the negative probe for my multimeter. As you can see right there, hooked up to the probe, see that nut right there, see the tip of the clamps, and I just hook right on there. you'll look right here 2.5 so if you have a problem with your positive side then I'm gonna show you guys how to take care of that first thing you want to look for is you can look at this plug right here this goes into the alternator and also this wire loom that's in my hand you want to check make sure these connections are not loose and these connections are clean so and there's no frays or cuts in the wire you want to follow those connections all the way around the vehicle. And you want to follow those connections where they connect all the way to the car itself. So connect to the battery, just like you would the battery terminal going to the battery frame and etc. I want to thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. You guys keep on wrenching.